Hello YouTube, today we're going to be exploring one of the little known features of the Google Translate app. Yes, of course this app can be used to translate words, but it can also be used to convert an image into text and then from there into speech in a few simple steps. When first opening the app, we notice that the interface is very simple, which is perfect for our students. But before we can start taking pictures, we have to make sure that our language settings are set up properly. In the upper left hand corner, you're going to want it to display in English. Now mine says Anglais just because my iPad's in French, but that means English. On the upper right hand side, you can choose any language that you want because we're not going to be using the translate feature of the app today. Once you've made sure that it says English on the upper left hand side, then it's time to take a picture. To take a picture, you click on the upper left hand side on the camera. And then we'll see something like this. Now to focus on the image, I'm just going to click on the screen. And there we go. Now it does some weird auto translate thing and I want to turn that off because I want to see what words I'm going to be reading out loud. To disable it, you click on the green eye. And now I see my words. So now I'm going to take the picture by clicking on the red button. Google is detecting the words and every word that is detected is now in a gray square. I can select those words either by moving my finger over those words or just on the bottom of the screen there is a dotted square. By cl clicking the dotted square it selects all of the words that are on my page. From there to be able to read it aloud I click in the upper right hand side on the blue arrow. On this next screen I see the original words and I see the translated words as well. But like I said we're not going to be using the translated words today. To hear those words out loud you just click on the speaker which is right next to the language. So I'll click there. Succeed grit, curiosity, and the hidden power of character, Paul Tuff, author of Whatever It Takes. And that's it. There's nothing more to it than that. If you liked the video, if you had comments about it, or if you had any uses for in the classroom, please feel free to put them in the bottom in the comment section. And as always, if you like these videos and you want some more, click on that little subscribe button at the bottom.